Hi guys, today I am already eating uh, what I'm about to show you how to make. I'm making a really simple berry syrup. I guess I'm calling it a syrup. Um, so I'm using blackberries and blueberries and this is like a five minute recipe. I'm eating mine on top of yogurt here, I'll show you. Super delicious. So yeah, it's a recipe that comes together really quick and I think it's great on yogurt, on cereals, on waffles or pancakes, on ice cream. Uh, it's just a few ingredients and it's really customizable. I do mine simple, like I'm about to show you, but you could add like cinnamon, honey, nutmeg, whatever you like. Um, yeah, just a few ingredients. So to start, I've got this like saucepan here and I filled it up with a combination of berries. I've got some blueberries, some blackberries. I don't really know the measurements here. I'd say I probably got about a cup to a cup and a half of berries. I'm adding in a third a cup of sugar. You could use a little more or a little less depending on how sweet you want it. And then I've got a tablespoon of cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch or you don't like cooking with it, you could leave this out. It would still be delicious. Uh, I squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. I had it handy and it kind of brings out the brightness of the fruit. It adds a little freshness just a little something extra but you absolutely don't have to have it and then I'm gonna sprinkle in some salt because I like that in here you could leave the salt out this is really customizable this is where you could also put other seasonings like some cinnamon some ginger I'm gonna give it a little stir and then I'm gonna put the heat on pretty high I want it to bubble I want it to be a little higher than a simmer but I get really good and juicy and then I set the timer for five minutes this takes about five minutes and then you are so good this is it after five minutes and it's like jammy almost but the berries are still intact they're still big and full and bright you want that I want to have the feeling of eating fruit when I when I put this on top of things and so here I have it over some yogurt with some granola this is such an amazing breakfast food it feels really special I like to make this when I'm having people over you bring it out and it looks like you did something but you totally didn't and then whatever I didn't eat I can just put it in this little storage jar put it in the fridge and this will last for a number of days in your fridge and there you go uh, like I said at the intro this is great on a number of things put it on waffles pancakes ice cream it's delicious let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye!